As we've been saying, President Trump is in Saudi Arabia this morning. Normally, a president's first trip abroad is the biggest, and we would talk about nothing but it, but not this week. We do want to bring in a professor from Loyola Mount University, Fernando Guerra. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, good morning. Thanks so, for having me. Let's first get to the mm -hmm. bombshell announcement this yeah. week. The appointment of former FBI Director Bob Mueller as special counsel in this investigation mm -hmm. into Russia. Why does it seem that both Democrats and Republicans, Professor, like this move? Well, number one, Democrats are happy because this is what they've been asking for. They've been asking for a special prosecutor. This is a special counsel, very different, but nonetheless, there's someone with some independence. But let's be clear, the deputy attorney general, because attorney general can't, is recused from this, or the president can still fire him. So he's not that independent, mm. but still there's a uh, focused source of the investigation, which didn't uh, occur before. The Republicans are especially happy because you know now these the the history of these investigations is that they take forever right. we could imagine that this will go on way past the midterm elections so they will not have to deal with it they're going to be able to say hey they have a pat answer the investigation is going forward we don't want to comment on it uh, let's wait until the findings come out uh, there is no findings yet about any collusion or anything uh, that's going on in the Trump administration it gives them a great out for the next year or so and what are some of the potential outcomes of the investigation Oh man, that's the that, that that's <laughs> the crazy thing is who knows. Mm -hmm. um, the history of these type of investigations is that they end up unearthing issues that have nothing to do with the orig original mission. We basically end up getting mission creep. The best example, of course, is the Clinton administration, which there was a, a special prosecutor set up to deal with Whitewater and other issues, and they end up dealing with the Monica Lewinsky case. Mm -hmm. And the reason they were able to do that is because supposedly when uh, they were interviewing the president. He he didn't want to deal with that and he basically lied and they got him on that. And so the investigation took off to a completely different uh, perspective. And we've seen this also, obviously, the most famous one with Richard Nixon and Watergate, that we end up with a cover-up, not the actual break-in. It uh, happened with Iran-Contra, uh, even under the uh, George uh, Bush when there was a leak about a CIA agent. They all ended up on different, uh, on different issues. So mission creep, very important, very dangerous for the president. And because this is expected to take so long, I mean, mm -hmm. we're not going to hear anything about this investigation for quite some right. time, does this give the president a chance to essentially buy some time and maybe shift the focus back onto some of his issues? Uh, yes and no. If they were disciplined and be able to have this pat answer that we're not going to deal with that, there's an investigation going on. Uh, but you know, the history of this administration, it's only four months old, but the mm -hmm. history is uh, about uh, chaos, you know, uh, leaks, uh, uh, twi twitters, um, mm -hmm. uh, battles between alternative facts, and there is no indication in the four months that they will have the discipline to focus on other things uh, and you know you're gonna have these continuing uh, uh, allegations and other bombshells and they will have to react to that so one would think that they would be able to take a breather but uh, given the history of this it's only been four months and already this administration is defined for the next four years mm -hmm. no matter what happens and frankly for history yeah. Let's get back to the trip abroad. Why yeah. is this trip so important for the president? Well, it's important both symbolically and substantively. Symbolically, a trip like this allows the president to act and behave presidential. Mm -hmm. One of the major criticisms of President Trump is that he's not presidential. He gets too much into the uh, weeds of things. He's too personal, his tweet account, etc. Here, he can be extremely presidential and look presidential. Very important, very significant if he has a discipline to say that. Substantively, in a very strange manner, he has the potential to make an impact in the Middle East because of his relationship with Israel and the fact that the Israelis were extremely happy that he got elected and the more conservative uh, uh, Muslim countries, specifically Saudi Arabia, but also Jordan, the, the monarchies, uh, that he has a relationship with them. They were also happy that he got elected because of his anti-Iranian stance. The Sunni Muslim, the monarchies, uh, hate Iran, and they think that uh, uh, President Trump does as well. He can have the potential to broker a deal to a much greater degree than any president has had that opportunity. Will he be able to undertake that opportunity? That's the big question. But a great possibility for him for the next uh, week where he can completely change his uh, presidency, uh, given the history, I don't think he will. Hmm. Possibility. We'll yeah. see what happens. Yes. Thank you so yeah. much, Professor, for your yeah. time and Thanks insight. Thanks for having me. We appreciate it. Sure. Yeah.